Immunity Bio is in the middle of a major transition, shifting from a high volatility pre-commercial biotech to a company now generating meaningful revenue from its first approved immunotherapy, Anctiva. Over the past two years, the company has begun proving that it can convert scientific promise into commercial traction, especially in bladder cancer, where adoption has accelerated through 2024 and 2025. Investors are increasingly framing Immunity Bio as an early commercial immuno-oncology story, not just a development stage biotech. At the same time, the business still carries the typical risks, ongoing losses, capital needs, regulatory uncertainty, and sentiment swings around clinical catalysts. But the core narrative has strengthened, and the stock's recent rise reflects renewed confidence in execution. Over the last few years, Immunity Bio stock has behaved exactly the way you'd expect from a high beta oncology name. It experienced a steep decline of more than 50% as investors navigated trial updates, FDA decisions, and financing cycles. The shares swung from above $9 in early 2024 to nearly $1.25 during late 2023, demonstrating the sensitivity of the stock to binary regulatory events. Over the most recent 12-month period, it is traded in a wide range between roughly $1.8 and $5.1, ultimately settling in the low $2 area. This volatility remains a defining feature, with frequent 10% daily moves driven by updates in commercialization, reimbursement, and clinical data. In the final weeks of November 2025, the stock has shown strong upside momentum, with several sessions of double-digit gains. This surge is tied directly to accelerating Anctiva adoption, highlighted by a more than 400% year-over-year revenue jump in the third quarter. Traders are reacting quickly to each new data point, from unit volume growth to new regulatory and clinical headlines. The technical setup has also played a role, with many short-term participants watching price levels around $2 to $3 as key reversal zones. As a result, the trading tape has been noisy, but clearly trending upward compared to early 2025, supported by optimism around the company's commercial execution. Immunity Bio's pipeline is anchored by Angtiva, an IL-15 super agonist positioned not just as a bladder cancer therapy, but as a potential multi-indication immunotherapy platform. After gaining U.S. approval for BCG unresponsive NMIBC, Angtiva entered broader development across lung cancer, glioblastoma, lymphoma, and solid tumors. In this period, the company advanced a Phase 3 NSCLC study, expanded GBM work involving NK cells and Optune, and grew several combination trials that could increase Angtiva's versatility. The strategy is clear take a validated mechanism and extend it into larger cancer markets. While promising, these programs still carry typical oncology trial risks and will remain major drivers of sentiment. A major turning point for Immunity Bio came in early 2025 when Anctiva received its permanent J code J9028. This change materially improved reimbursement clarity enabling physicians to prescribe with greater confidence. Immediately after the J-code took effect, unit volumes began rising sharply. February 2025 sales nearly doubled compared to late 2024. And by mid-year, cumulative growth reached the mid-200% range. At the same time, the company advanced regulatory filings in Europe and the UK achieving authorization milestones and expanding global reach. They also continued working with the FDA to address outstanding questions around papillary-only NMIBC. Overall, market access improvements have played a central role in accelerating Anctiva's commercial ramp. 
Financially, Immunity Bio is shifting from a negligible revenue base in 2024 to a period of substantial top-line growth driven exclusively by Anctiva. Quarter by quarter, the trajectory has strengthened. Q2 2025 revenue jumped roughly 60% sequentially into the mid $20 million range, and Q3 2025 delivered approximately $31 to $32 million, representing more than 400% year-over-year growth. Year-to-date sales reached around $75 million, with unit growth surpassing 400%. Despite this progress, the company remains unprofitable and continues to raise capital, including an $80 million financing. The story is one of strong commercial momentum, but ongoing cash burn and dilution risk. As of late 2025, Immunity Bio is benefiting from a confluence of positive developments. Anctiva uptake remains strong, supported by reimbursement clarity and increasing physician awareness. Regulatory progress continues, including UK authorization and RMAT designations for several combination approaches. Meanwhile, early clinical signals in NSCLC, GBM, and other solid tumors are generating excitement, though these programs remain high risk and early stage. From an investment standpoint, Immunity Bio fits the classic profile of a high volatility biotech, meaningful commercial traction paired with substantial uncertainty around long-term profitability, regulatory outcomes, and capital needs. Market sentiment is exceptionally sensitive to each headline, but overall momentum remains positive. Just two years ago, Immunity Bio was largely a pre-commercial company waiting for its first meaningful approval. Revenue was minimal, the pipeline was promising but unproven, and the stock moved primarily on binary FDA outcomes. Fast forward to 2024 to 2025, and the company now has a real commercial product generating over $30 million a quarter, with annual revenue growth exceeding 400%. Regulatory catalysts have expanded beyond the US into Europe and the UK, while clinical data in NSCLC and GBM have broadened the platform narrative. Although volatility remains high, the tone of investor discussion has shifted toward growth execution, and multi-indication potential, rather than simple event risk.